I think probably one of the, the most important things as you are doing this business planning is looking at the, having a, a kind of conversation with yourself. Mm -hmm. Why? Why are you in this business? What is it that you're trying to accomplish? Mm -hmm. So, are you, like when, when I first got in the business, it was to have a little mad money, okay? To have a little extra money for our family so that we could take vacations without feeling stretched because, you know, we're, we're really big savers. And so we put a lot of money into savings for retirement and college. And we just felt like, boy, it'd be nice to have a little bit of extra money to be able to go on a nice vacation and not feel like, mm. now it is, you know, okay. Um, what is our, our long-term goal? Okay, again, so that we can retire comfortably. But right now, we're looking at, we, we would like to maybe get a, a vacation home. So that's our current, you know, that's our goal right now. So it's, it's important to know why you're in the business. Now, for other people, it may be because this is my job. Um, for some, it may be because I need to pay for, I need to put away money to pay for the college education for my children. Um, you know, whatever it is. But know what it is, and then know what that number is that you're trying mm -hmm. to achieve, mm -hmm. okay? That's the really important thing. Do you need to make $50,000 a year? Do you need to make $100,000 a year? Because it's that number of what you're going to try and what your goal is right. that you're going to work back from to figure out, mm -hmm. if I want to make $100,000 a year, what do I need to do to accomplish that? Because it doesn't just happen. You can't say, I want to make $100,000 a year, and <laughs> if so, this room <laughs> wouldn't be as full as it is. Well, that's, that's right. But, I mean, everybody's different, as we, as we will continue to point out. So it's what are your goals. And they change over time. Absolutely. Uh, you know, if somebody that's a new agent may have be in a totally different place in their life than somebody that's been in the business. 20 or 30 years. So it's okay for it to change. I used to have a bucket list that included things like skydiving. I don't think yeah. I want to do no. that now. <laughs> I might break a hip or something. <laughs> and again, you know, we said we do this every year. So every year you need to evaluate. You know, I mean, frankly, my goal used to be a lot smaller. Mm -hmm. But then my business grew and got better and so now I say okay well now my goal is this mm -hmm. and I work to achieve that goal each year um, but also you know one of the other things is plan in there as well we talked a little bit about you know it's really important to also plan in when you're talking about uh, your goals plan in your your personal time as well mm -hmm. okay make sure for your <clears throat> mental health right you know this job is one that it is, I can't tell you how many people say, God, do you work 24-7? It's like, yeah, kind Feels of. Feels like it sometimes. You know, yeah. sometimes I do. Um, but I have gotten so much better at planning my personal time and making sure I have that balance in my life so that I can happily achieve these goals. Mm -hmm. Okay? That, that's you really important. You see a lot of people burn out that, yeah. get, that are just working all the time. Yeah. You need to not only take time for your family, but you need to take time for yourself. Yeah. Because you want to achieve these goals year after year after year, not just once and go fizzle. Mm -hmm. you know? It's, yeah, you know, you write down, you say, okay, this is my idea. But I, I look throughout the year, and it was so funny because you said, you know, write it down, put, put, it, put it on a piece of paper or whatever. Well, somebody came into my office, I don't know, a couple months ago, and I had a sticky on the wall that said 10. And they said, what's 10? And I said, well, because I looked at what my goals were, mm -hmm. and I had 10 transactions left that I wanted to achieve for the year. Mm -hmm. So I put a 10 on the wall. Mm -hmm. And that way I just looked at it. Mm -hmm. Also, if you guys come into my office, you'll see I have a huge whiteboard. And I keep track on there, and it's color-coded. I know what the code is. Um, but I've got buyers, sellers, renters, and then I've got things written in different colors and different places. But for me, that way I, I'm always keeping track not only what's going on, but what's coming down the pike. So I can already tell you that next year I think I have in the pipeline right. you know, X number of potential transactions. Right. Will all of those pan out? No. 
But, but you, you know, know the ones close that, ratio pretty exactly. much exactly, and I know that for the ones that fall out, something else unexpected is going to come on, sure. like this email I got this morning. So again, it's just having a sense of how your business flows, mm -hmm. and keeping, you know, mindful of it. 